Thank you so much. Uh, can you guys hear me okay? Yeah. I am Vanessa Carpenter and I am one half of the duo Geek Physical. We create interactive installations, we like to push social boundaries, and we like to play with sensors and sense the real world. And that's what I'm going to tell you about today. Maybe add a little more time. That's me. <laughs> Las Vegas. Here we go. I'm also part of a group called Illutron. We're a collaborative interactive arts studio, which is a bit of a mouthful, but we do for some fun stuff. We do large-scale interactive art installations, such as those at Roscoe Festival or different museums or public places. And this here is our workshop. It's a giant ship out in Suham, and we like to play with fire, and we make metal things and wood things there. And what I want to talk to you tonight is uh, about this here. This is how the computer sees us. There's a keyboard, so we're obviously having fingers. There's a monitor, so we have eyes. And there's ears, because there's speakers. And uh, to me, this doesn't look like any of you, a few of you, those on the escalator. But uh, this sort of stuff is what we do. So in this installation here, it's called the touching booth. And when people touch, it takes their picture. We're using touch sensors here. It's a fun little installation we did in France. Cooked it up in half an hour or so and uh, got people playing with it. <laughs> in this one, this was Roskilde Festival 2008, if any of you were there, we created the Explosion Village. And this was basically a large primal playground where people drummed, because we figured drunk people can drum, and then they got an explosion as a reward. And so we were measuring the sound and the hits and everything else, and we were having a lot of different sensors going on there. This was Christmas last year. We never liked to be normal, so uh, we made our Christmas tree interactive. And basically, in order to turn on the lights for the Christmas tree, you have to, of course, touch it and play with it. So this is my friend Nina, playing with the Christmas tree, getting it to turn on. Last year we went to Brazil. That was quite a trip. We went there because we were creating this little guy here. It's a robot that paints on walls. And the idea was we had to paint 1,923 handprints on the walls of the football stadium using this small robot here. So we went on Facebook and got everybody's handprints and their names and then printed them all the way around the walls. This one was for a marketing promotion, a little bit of guerrilla marketing stuff. And it was a crazy suit that changed colors. And basically it had different sensors in it so that when you moved it would change different colors and change different patterns. This one is the one that we like to play with the most. It's called the Biometric Social Interaction System. And for this one, we wanted people to interact socially, not based on their clothes, their makeup, their shoes, etc., etc., but rather based on their heart rate, their galvanic skin response or their emotional response, and whether or not they were making eye contact with each other. This was called the Dangerous Playground. It was Roskilde Festival 2011, I believe. <laughs> Uh, people could dip hair dryers into bathtubs to make noises and stick their fingers into light sockets. Um, they could also pull on electrical lines and hang off street lamps. It was good fun. Most people thought we were going to electrocute them, which we did not, just for the record. This has no better name than the giant ball of jeans. So this one was a promotion for only jeans. Did it at Copenhagen Central Station. And basically, they wanted 1,500 pairs of jeans to explode off a ball in an interesting way. So we did that. <laughs> this is the critical course set where I wanted to explore what is attraction and what do we do when we're attracted to someone and how do we know we're attracted to someone. So we created this course set that would get tighter when your heart rate goes up. And it would tell you, now your heart rate is going up, now you must be attracted to someone. Of course, I didn't factor in Red Bull, dancing, walking in around in high heels, and so it squished me a lot. <laughs> this is the Magic Mirror. It's actually at Denmark's Technical Museum. And the idea is that this is a 1950s sort of bathroom, and there's a 1950s family, and they ask you to pass them certain items, like hair curlers or shavers. And as it sees you in front of the mirror, it changes, it becomes a monitor, and you interact with the family. When geeks get married, they do it in fun ways. So this is the biometric bouquet. We called it cold feet because it tells you if it's white, that you're nervous, and if it's blue, then you're relaxed. And it was hooked up to a ring that was sensing galvanic skin response. 
This was a promotion for Novo Nordisk for uh, diabetes awareness at Copenhagen Central Station, where we had all the bikes hooked up so that they could race each other, and people could basically go and, and race each other and, and see how far they were biking and have a good time and learn a little bit about exercise. Not that we don't all bike enough in this city, but some people don't. And this is one of our four giant robots. They weigh one ton each, they're over two meters tall, and this one is very cuddly, he's a friend. He has computer vision mounted on his head so that he can head track people, as you can see what he's doing with this small boy here. <laughs> and when you draw a picture, he looks at it and he redraws the picture and the lights on that board over there. This is what's called a Tesla coil. It's all about wireless energy transfer and a fancy guy named Nikola Tesla who made a whole bunch of great stuff and most of the stuff that we use today. So we had to explore wireless energy. We made a wireless energy transfer lamp. We made a Tesla coil and we made it playable via piano. So you see this lady here who's playing it by playing the piano. And we like to explore the world using different tools. These are called iDemo bits. And this is what I'm using right now to explore my ideas. So when I'm brainstorming, I'm playing with these guys and piecing them together a little bit like Legos. And each of them has sensors on it and outputs so I can try all of that stuff out. That's what I'm using right now. So, my message for today is go play with the world. Push social norms, have some fun, go out there, have a good time. And uh, the last project I wanted to tell you about today was the uh, bridal bouquet. You saw that one. We also have the bridal veil. So we have a bride, let's say, and maybe a groom. Hello, groom. And uh, the whole idea was that when they get up to the front and they kiss, But I am lighting up. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much.